Glenn Ifo, the Attorney General, has tried to get on top of that this week, describing his a, friends describing a creeping sense of remorse over that targeting of James Rosen. He's met with several uh, journalist organizations over the week uh, on a kind of background well, uh, basis, which has caused a lot of consternation with some. Is he going to have to go? Well, you know how when it's about journalism, how kind of navel gazy we get. Right, the public it's, doesn't it's, seem to care about this. Well, you know, but we care terribly, so it has to be important. But but here's, there's not going to be a kumbaya moment here. One of the interesting things that's coming out, out of these meetings with, with newspaper bureau chiefs and broadcast bureau chiefs in Washington is that it turns out nobody knows how anybody does anybody's job. Um, I guess I believe this, that it didn't occur to the people at the Justice Department that this is what reporters do all the time, that they go, that they, they urge, that they Flatter. try to get information that they flatter. The question to me becomes, to what end? Uh, are we, are, was that whistleblowing that we're talking about? We're just talking about getting information, secret information, for secret information's sake. And so journalists have to look at our motives and our accountability in these matters, as well as the administration. But you've also heard the Justice Department Paul Jago is that they actually never contemplated prosecuting. Well, that's what they say. <laughs> that's but, if, but if you read that affidavit, it's pretty scary. Because it does say, aider and a better of a conspiracy to leave. But no and reporter has ever been prosecuted no. for leaking, for, perhaps I, for not revealing. Would that make you feel better if you were mentioned in that affidavit? It wouldn't make me feel better. 